Good morning, everybody. I don't usually do the good morning in, at the beginning of these things, but um, uh, Val has been going through a medication change, and we've been talking about the medication change, and, and Val has not been in the videos a lot because of the medication change. And um, I I think we need to, to, to try to explain her, her medication change a little because we're, we've been kind of... Hemming and hawing around it. <laughs> so, as most of you know, who have known us from the very beginning, um, Valerie has uh, uh, bipolar 2. Hypo... hypo I, I don't know the exact terminology. I am bipolar, manic depressive, depressive um, panic attacks... Anxiety, OCD. <clears throat> um, have I missed anything? Uh, well, I, I don't think so. But they're they're all kind of related. They're all kind of related, but they all have their own medication, and some of the medications fight don't with. react with well with the others, and they fight each other. Yeah. So it makes it very, very difficult for the doctors to come up with a proper cocktail for me. So a lot of the times that we say that Valerie's sleeping or Valerie's not feeling well, it's because I am fighting. And excuse me if I cry, I'm going to try not to cry. <laughs> Um, I'm fighting major, major, major depression. Yeah. It's just, the, the, Ever since my father passed away in June. It's been tough. Okay, let me, let me give her a chance, okay? The medication that change that she is on right now is her antidepressant. Her antidepressant, she, which she's been taking for years, is not working very well anymore. It stopped working soon after her father died. However, we're not sure whether it's the medication or situational, but either way it needed to be dealt with. Um, the, the doctor tried um, to add certain medications in the last month, and you've seen that because we started her on one medication that makes her sick, or one medication that gives her migraines. And uh, she's very sensitive to medications, and it's quite a battle trying to figure out which medications so her doctor who we we love by the way he's very good at at figuring these things out uh, has changed her her um, depression medication and you can't just stop a depression medication you have to slowly go down on it and then you slowly go up on the new one and uh, those of you who, who are on antidepressants um, know that it's probably going to be a month before it kicks in. So there's a long period of time where you're just miserable. Miserable, and and if anything happens in her life that would, for most people, um, is just a small roadblock, it can be huge. Yeah. For Val, so a lot of time this depression is debilitating. Yeah. I mean, you guys see me all the time with my dad's pillow. I sleep a lot in my dad's shirt. I wear my dad's bathrobe. Yeah. You know, this has all been since June when my dad passed away and I did get back from <clears throat> my trip from North Carolina. And the doctors had put me on medication and, and you know, to try and help and it didn't help and all of that kind of stuff and but my doctors watch me very very closely and keep I track. watch you very very closely. and Kevin watches me very very closely we are in constant contact with my doctors they know the medications that I take and you know they keep a very close eye and so does Kevin on everything that I do and everything that I take so I'm sorry if I'm missing from our videos often, and I'm sorry if I don't do shout-outs. 
I'm sorry if I don't do my challenges, but right now, you guys, please, if you can forgive me for all of that. Um, as soon as I get better, which hopefully will be soon, we will get back to all of that. And, um, meanwhile, I'll try and be in the videos as often as I can, and I'll try and be happy. With my monkey hat, how can I not be? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Valerie is normally a happy person, but this is a, a chemical imbalance most yeah, times. Yeah, very much. And anything depressing happens, it's it's just devastating. Yeah. So, we're fighting the good fight right here. And we apologize. We're always trying to put in as good a content as we can. And I know for the last two uh, uh, videos you've been watching grass grow. <laughs> Crop but circles. I'm trying. Crop, crop circles. circles. <laughs> I should have cut a crop circle into that. But um, so uh, we're we're still fighting towards a, a direction that's going to, I think, make um, everybody happy. Um, moving to a new state, starting over. Uh, still trying to uh, to do this house, by, but I'm doing it by myself, and I'm not a young man anymore. Well, you're going to have some help. Hopefully, Taylor yeah. will be over soon. Good friend Taylor, who's a big guy. I'm going to use him as a... Uh, <laughs> Workhorse. Yeah, I'm just going to strap stuff to his back and <laughs> send him upstairs. He's an awesome friend of ours, and um, I'll be hitting him up. I hit him up last night. He just got into Riverside last night, so um, we'll give him a day or two to catch up with some friends, and then we'll, he'll be over to help us out. But... Um, Thank you guys all for listening. Sorry I spilled the beans, but I thought it was... I, I don't think those are beans that anybody didn't already know. Yeah, but they didn't know how hard I was struggling. And Yeah, we're trying. I'm trying. We're trying. I'm trying. So, so that's our uh, not-so-good morning, I guess. <laughs> and, um, I mean, it's, it's not the, the bad morning, but... Uh, she um, she's still struggling with the me new medication. It's still giving her massive headaches, and I'm trying to stay as close to home to keep an eye on her. And uh, she's uh, as a side effect, she watches really bad <laughs> television, and it's hard to be in this room with her because it's bad. <laughs> Gossip girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I watched The Walking Dead every Sunday, and yeah. The Talking Dead can't every day be Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can watch Walking Dead over and over again, which you used to do. I know. <laughs> so, all right. Other side thing, and I really, really apologize, because these are the one of the th things that we actually truly enjoy doing, and that's um, shout-outs. And uh, it's been two weeks, and it's not going to happen again today. Uh, with the, the medication change for Val, she can't concentrate. And we, I've been, uh, I have been commenting on some videos, but uh, I'm, Val gets mad at me when I do it. <laughs> she says, I suck at it. So... You can tell the difference between when I comment and when Kevin comments, because his comments are like... Thank you. Nice uh, video. Nice video. Kev. Mine are, oh, that was great. I'd love to see that. Thanks for taking us along. And, you know, I, I get into a conversation where Kevin does it. <coughs> and, you know, so. But I guess any comment is better than no comment. <laughs> so. so does that mean you're going to let me make comments? Uh, no. Okay. Never, <laughs> never mind. Sorry. I asked. Okay, everybody, so just to let you know what I'm getting done today, um, again, to, uh, trying to get things done that isn't going to cost any money. I have all of this baseboard, and I know you've seen me paint baseboard, and that's, yeah, you get to see paint drying. I got to get all of this downstairs, and uh, I need to sand some of it down, I need to paint it. So, some of this has been in the closet, some of it has never been painted. Uh, it looks like they stained it at one point. But, unfortunately, when I pulled the baseboard up uh, to paint the rooms, I had pulled it up 
You, normally I wouldn't pull up baseboard to paint a room, but I intended to sand the floors and I'm not going to do that now. I don't have the time to. So once most everything else is done, we're going to have somebody uh, come in and carpet the whole upstairs and the stairs. Um, and we will pay them when the house sells. So this, however, has been sitting on the back patio here. Um, and it has been rained on. So uh, considering it's been rained on, it doesn't look too bad. But I need to pull nails, uh, sand it down, and pa paint it all. And then I, so that I can put it up. Uh, depending on how I feel and how much time I have, uh, I may caulk around it so it's got a nice clean look, but I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to do that. Right, Boomer? There's my uh, shadow. Some of this is really long. It looks like we actually have a 20 foot long section. And I'm not going to be able to get that down the stairs, so I am going to just throw it over the you know, throw it over the side here of my deck. So, and then I can pick, take it to the garage from there. Another beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. A little bit of a wind. So here's all my baseboard uh, from upstairs and um, as usual I'm going to have to clear room in my garage to, uh, to work on it. And some of this is so long I have to make sure I have the room for it. I'm going to put it in here for now. I'll be painting it up here and I'm going to have to make even more room on this side to, uh, to let it dry. So, right, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to have to clear space, and if I have the time, I will start painting, and before I do that, I have to change, because that will kill me otherwise, because I've got what she considers good clothes on. All right, everybody, so I was ready. I even changed, ready to paint, got everything ready, and Val wants me to go pick up some lunch. So here I go. Actually, it's dinner. It's that late. It's actually five o'clock. Took a long time to do what I did. So, um, I did manage to talk her into having some Miguel Juniors, which is my favorite. Actually need to uh, run to the uh, grocery store to pick up a, some supplies, but we have absolutely nothing in the house to eat, so. Get a couple of tacos. Okay, so I'm putting this video together. Uh, Val is asleep, and um, the video's a little longer than it usually is, and it looks like it's going to be around uh, 13 and a half minutes. Pretty long for us. So um, I hope you liked it, though. Uh, the, uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, a like, and a share. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.